myself, Dr. Supnil Mane, a gynec onco surgeon. I belong to a very small village in Ahmednagar district, that is Songao, in Rauri Tazil. My childhood went in small villages with uh, schooling in Marathi medium. And uh, there is a lot of to share. One incident I specifically would like to share. When I was in fifth standard, one neighbor was there, Mr. Gorsekaka. He died due to lung cancer and due to unaffordability for the cancer care at uh, metro cities like Pune or Mumbai. That was a, a big <clears throat> shock for me and uh, guiding spirit, inspiring thing to do the free cancer treatment for the poor and needy peoples. Then uh, when I grown up, uh, 10th standard, 12th standard, I was selected for the MBBS at Program Medical Trust. I completed graduation at that place, then went for the uh, post-graduation in gynecology and oncology in KM Hospital, Mumbai and Tata Cancer Hospital. I have seen that uh, during my post-graduation that people find it very difficult to reach to Tata or KM Hospital and people are residing over the footpaths and over the months, no any uh, cancer center is there in Maharashtra. Only the private hospitals, uh, corporate hospitals uh, was there. So very difficult for the poor and needy cancer patient to get a free cancer treatment or to get treated. They would prefer to die at home due to the unaffordability, unawareness, transportation issues, the seasonal issues, the cultural taboos, a lot of things we see. Then, then I decided in Tata Cancer Hospital or KM Hospital that something has to be made at their places in rural area to cater the rural population. So I started my this uh, small venture called Dr. Mane Hospital in 2011 at Rahuri, a small town of Ahmednagar district of Western Maharashtra. And uh, we started free treatment, but initially there was a great struggle doing such a free treatment of cancer. And uh, later on, the people joined this venture, noble cause, and slowly we grown up. And now we are having the 30 bed cancer hospital at Rahuri, absolutely providing free cancer treatment to all communities since 10 years. In community project, we have seen that early prevention is better than cure and early detection is cure for cancer. When your patient catches the complaints or symptoms, that is already in late stages. So uh, our team has decided to go to the villages, screen the patient for cancer, tribal villages where health facility is inadequate and it is not reachable by the uh, government schemes or government people's, government doctors. Then we uh, did near about 288 cancer detection camps in the Maharashtra, rural areas, very rural areas, mountainous area, tribal area to cater the population and examined near about 64,000 cancer, 64,000 patients. Out of that, we operated 2,500 cancer patients free of the cost till date with the help of government scheme, with the help of voluntary donations from the corporates and different, different things we are uh, doing together. We got a primary health center also from Saidam Hospital, primary health center also near about 30 kilometer away from this place. And uh, our all our trustees are Sai devotees and they believe in the principle of Sai. From 1958 to 1918, whatever the Sai Baba, our yeah, faith, the spiritual faith, the Sai Baba has done for the community. That is the guiding spirit for us. That is a spiritual leader for us. So we trustees all believes in the Sai Baba's spiritual principles and Sai Charitra and uh, wish to wish to would like to make a cancer free India mission successful in uh, forthcoming years. And uh, Then started this uh, venture and we got a, after, uh, for uh, next year, uh, our vision is to have finite bell cancer hospital at Shidi. And that will be catering the more people from all over India. 
Our trustees had taken near about uh, 10 acres of land near Shirdi Airport and would like to develop into 500 bed, bed free hospital for the patients. That is our vision. Yes. Uh, I belong to a very poor family and uh, in Songa. But uh, due to gross uh, grace of the God, or uh, my efforts can say, I was uh, selected to the only government quota in all the hospitals and studied free of the cost education imparted to me by the government quota only. So no expenses were let down. No expenses were incurred in this process, ma'am. So that is also side blessings I considered. And uh, we'll be catering more people, more uh, cancer affected people, poor and needy people. That is our feature at Shady. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, commercialization has happened in the medical field. So very few seats are there for the government quota. And it's fine, very difficult for the poor student to struggle for that. And uh, previously what happened, private colleges also had a uh, government quota. But uh, right now, situation is different. Uh, in private hospitals, the 12, 12 lakhs fees per year and government hospitals, 60,000 fees per year. Government fee, hospital fees is affordable. But private hospital fee, fees is still not affordable for the poor and poor uh, students, those are aspiring students. So very difficult situation right now due to commercialization of medical field. Medical field. That is a uh, I faced. But I, was, I, I had a motivating force of uh, my neighbors uh, died due to cancer. That was the very, uh, what you call, the constant emotions I was having throughout my childhood that motivated me to us to do sincere study and get the government quota seats. That might be another blessings of Sai I consider. For, but for routine rural people, uh, if they study sincerely, they can be selected for the government quota. That is no hindrance, no hindrance in atmos democratic atmosphere in our country. So those seats are less, but uh, students can struggle for that by st studying sincerely. When I left Mumbai, my vision was clear. My mission was clear that we have to serve for the rural people for the cancer cause. Whatever will happen, whatever sacrifice will happen. I started small venture for machineries to purchase. There was no money, though a lot of struggle we, I have made. Then uh, people donated the machinery. Yeah. Then second thing for a small fault also a small repair also we had to rush to the mumbai for repair at that time and there there was that time no blood bank facility no any other doctor support at that time but due to such a baba's blessing i think that we conquered all difficulty and uh, came up with this saidam 30 bed charitable hospital it it happened due to the donors only voluntary donors who have supported me though we're behind our vision and they are still with us for the for the work doctor ma'am this is a very noble profession doctor if you uh, because we are serving the uh, beleaguered patient at a time under stress under distress under pain so they, this is a unchallengeable to uh, uncomparable to any sort of business in the world because very noble profession that uh, when we are elevating the people suffering like a god. That is, this profession is compared to the god, basically. We are curing people, we are elevating the sufferings. Some years back in traditional era, the patient, the people uh, used to die due to the a lot of uh, pandemics and a lot of diseases. But now the 90%, 80% cure is there for uh, lots of diseases. So that is a miracle. And this, due to this uh, noble cause, due to this... Uh, Elevation of the pain, elevation of sufferings of people. This is uncomparable profession uh, to the other profession equivalent to God. God, I think. Yeah. As a doctor, I like that people's uh, smiling face after you cure the patient. That smiling face, every doctor, every person expect after doing the good deeds. That I expect a smiling face of the patient after cure. As a doctor, doctor, our, our project is different, doctor. When we reach the community doctor in tribal population in Maharashtra, our uh, the tribal people used to run away from after seeing us because uh, that is not their fault. They haven't seen the doctors and nurses in their lifetime. We travel by road, by walking, uh, very small roads where the vehicle is not reachable. Vehicle, we have to <coughs> stop at one place 
then by walking we had to reach that pada, kasba, a small lower sea, and distribute the medicine, check up for the patient, counsel with them in regional languages, a seasonal variation, a transportation difficulty, language understanding, the monetary issues. This uh, was a really challenge at that time, but due to God's grace and uh, our sincere effort, uh, we completed 280 camps in Maharashtra, and we expect more camps in future also, Dr. After morning, uh, little uh, fast exercises I do for our health. Then uh, OPDs I attend up to 3 o'clock, 7 to 80 OPDs I attend. After 3 o'clock, I uh, used to start the various operations. There are about 5 to 6 operations I perform daily, free of the cost. And at 10 or 11 p.m., I sleep generally. That is my daily routine since 10 years now. Yeah. Skill doctor. Uh, first, the uh, his wish or passion to serve the people. That is important. That is the basic thing. Later on, no other skill doctor. Our feeling, our passion will develop other skills immediately. That is not an issue. But our basic desire, the uh, deep desire should be to serve the people. That it should be there. Passion of to serve the people. The, uh, as early as possible, fix your vision, fix your passion. That is important. Everything is achievable by your efforts. If you decide that the I want to I I want to hundred percent do these things within this period of time, then that is achievable. I see in the young generation, little uh, more more people having the uh, unstable vision. One day they want to do this thing. After two days their vision is different. Third day vision is different. So unstable mind, mind is not stable, and that is the issue. They cannot achieve the success within a <clears throat> short time or they are not follow their target. That is issued, man. So there should be continuous, persistent efforts towards towards your vision. You can have any miracle, man. That is my opinion about this. Your question. Thank you, sir. Doctor. Ma'am. So your study and uh, your caliber, your IQ, intelligent uh, part, intelligence part, that will matter for the examination. That is the issue. So 11 12 is a turning point. We should focus on the studies more as compared to other things, that is my opinion. Same thing, doctor, same thing. Entrance examination, again, after graduation, after MBBS, we have entrance examination for different things. You have to pass the, again, competitive exam, NEET, after MBBS, and after 12th standard. So the same thing, basically. The, again, the competition, but we have to study more. One year, say it's two years study, might be three years, will be required to achieve your goal. But it is achievable. If you think, if you continuously follow the study, that is achievable, ma'am. So, there is no confusion that but study has to be there sincere study has to be there for the turning point like 11 12th or the after passing the mbbs grade if you feel satisfied that I, well, my mbbs education is okay then you will not do anything more after mbbs examination you have so you should have a dream that i should uh, do the post post graduation ms md uh, super specialist like dm mch that should be the passion basically continuous effort that is a secret formula i think I appeal to the younger generation of this great nation, India, that uh, social life is very important for doctor. It was considered as Indian law, the service, social services, the medical services, not the business. So we should be having that uh, emotion, that deep desire to serve the people. And uh, if, even if you're doing the private hospital, you're running the private hospital, your business will flourish, your practice will flourish. So we should be very respectable to the patient, uh, sweet uh, talking and cool mind and con good counseling of the patient is important because doctor's uh, profession is different as compared to the other businesses. So this is, should be there to flourish your practice, I think. Yeah. Sacrifice doctor. Yeah. That was the great sacrifice doctor. It is not uncomparable doctor. Where doctors are risking them themselves, risking their life, not only their life, life by indirectly family's life, uh, for the sake of the people, sake of the community. So that was the issue. Very great sacrifice, doctor. You might have seen a lot of doctors, thousands of doctors died due to the COVID pandemic, doctor. I also served in COVID. I, we also had a COVID center, doctor. I have seen the plight of the patient. That is the total failure of the government of Maharashtra and government of India during this pandemic. I mean to, I mean to say frankly, that is 100% failure of the government in such a pandemic. Because if government options are there, then they, there should not for go to the private hospital people should not go to the private hospital there is no adequate government option that's why this has happened ma'am so people have to go to the private doctors uh, the harassment 
and lot of things for the patient and uh, bed unavailability of the bed a lot of things issues faced by the patient in that time so very critical tension it since independence indian government doesn't uh, put their attention to the health sector health sector always considered as a very minor thing that is out of our, our india gdp 3.5% spent on the uh, government uh, yeah health sector very low budget india is having so that's why this plight happened doctor so auction uh, in 21st century does this doesn't look good and availability of the bed uh, oxygen and availability doesn't look good for the patients ma'am this doesn't look good this may not be digestible in 21st century that era was different 200 300, 300 years back but in modern century this should not happen this is very a failure of the government this should not happen in the future everyone should be prepared to face the challenges and proud doctor also sacrifice life government doctor also sacrifice life i regret i ek passes i pass my deep condolences for this uh, uh, whatever the um, sacrifice of the doctors happened during corona pandemic doctor still doctors are struggling for that corona pandemic yeah yeah still going on yeah yeah the little time we uh, used to give for the family on sundays so sundays free we keep free for the family yeah you have seen my son eight year old son he is in second standard he used to attend camp with me only lot of camps he attended he has the same vision like me only in future being the citizen of the country there is a great responsibility on our shoulder to serve the people though we are having the developing country india is developing country though that need is more so as while uh, doing your business, whatever business you should contribute some part of your business to the social work for upliftment of the drowned to drowned people by various means whatever you want to do can be done so will uh, vanish the will remove the will decrease the poverty of poverty of the nation if you have such a vision and always i believe in the good karmas yeah so good karma should be there good thinking positive thinking and good karmas good work should be there each and every citizen should understand and do that so our country will become the ideal country and developed for the patients for good outcome for patient it hampers ma'am and there about 6000 surgeries i have performed uh, for the these people and all are well doctor all are happy living patients are there so i am uh, i'm i think that uh, we keep on working keep engage yourself in the work and it will happen so nothing is there yeah